Hey everybody, Grimer here, coming at you one more time from Planet Boobless in this season. Welcome to the season finale, we made it. We're here, the planet is terraformed, we're just on the cusp of hitting 10 PTI, which is ridiculously high for a terraformation index. That probably has something to do with the 2500 rockets that we launched uh, last episode. I think it probably has something to do with that. But we're here, we're here now. And guess what? On the last episode... Planet Crafter has updated. <laughs> That's right. It, it has updated, people. The uh, Procedural Rex update is now out and a thing. And if I look in here, it looks like um, there's something new. There's some things new. I think the Frog Displayer has always been there. Oh, this was the customizable bed and stuff that we unlocked before that I just kind of completely forgot about. I think it's just the color that changes. Click the toggle that changes color. Yeah, that's what it is. Okay. I guess I don't really care about those those things. But some of the new things that are added, like this thing, okay? A portal generator. Now, full disclosure, I already ordered the energy multiplier fuses. They should be here sometime soon. Um, I want to make sure I got those for later on in the episode. We're going to definitely be exploring this and building this, although it kind of frightens me. It kind of looks like a Stargate. So there's some stuff to do. Now, you can hear that breeze coming in and those rockets flying, or those, uh, those meteors flying at my face. And that's because we're having a, a meteor event right now. They did remove the one that drops crates, so I don't ever have to worry about that happening again. But I do have to worry about getting nailed in the face by one of these things. So I should probably take cover before that one right there hits me. Oh, I'm standing my ground. I'm standing my ground. I'm standing my ground. Okay, no, it's going, it's going down lower. Okay, whew, okay. All right, yeah, I'm going to take cover. All right, we good, meteors? We're good? I think we're good. All right, yeah, we're good. All right, so in the last episode, we launched uh, 2,500 rockets, and uh, it took me like over 10 hours to do so. But that definitely helped out the uh, with the terraformation, obviously, happening on the planet. It really bumped it up way into stupid levels, like really far into stupid levels, like beyond stupid levels, actually. Let's go take a look at our stats now, because the game has updated, and the stats have dropped. For example, oxygen used to be at 330 billion, and now it's at 43 billion. Okay, so the reason why is they nerfed fuses. Just to be, just bluntly say it, they nerfed fuses. Apparently they were way too powerful. I don't know what they're talking about. It was only 330 billion oxygen on the planet. I mean, basically, okay, basically, that's what people in the comments were saying, that that's like 700 times percent what's on Earth. Like, I couldn't light a match on this planet. It would have been, well, I mean, if I were to try to light a match on this planet, it would probably look something like, Yeah, and I'm not trying to do that. So, uh, yeah, okay, so now uh, our, our oxygen levels are a little bit lower. They're still pretty astronomically high, but um, but they're a little bit lower. So, anyway, I, I, as far as our power level goes, we're still doing pretty good on power levels. I don't think this changed at all. So maybe they didn't affect the electrical, electricity ones, the energy fuses. I'm not too sure. I think those are the same. Either that or the ones you currently have in place for energy fuses stay the same, given that if they lowered those now, all of your machines would just shut off instantly. So that's probably what they actually did. Anyway, so we're still sitting here at 2,500 rockets floating around in space. I don't know if I'm going to be able to launch off this platform, if any rescue ship's going to be able to come in and get me because they'll get hit with a rocket in space and immediately die. But, you know, that's what that's, that's just what happens when you launch that many rockets. Oh, bother. Now, in today's episode, what are we going to do? We have to build a retirement home. i got to find a place to park it and just wait for Sentinel Core. Now, I could actually just sit here. I mean, this is a nice place. I kind of like it. It's got a receptionist desk and everything. But I, I kind of want to build my own place. Now, I think they actually added new things, new things. Let's grab some blueprints here and see if these actually, like, unlock anything. Because, uh, there's new things that have been added. Ah, a flare. Okay, so I guess those light up dark areas and caves and stuff. Cool. What else we got? Nothing. That's it. <laughs> we got a... <laughs> All right, well, we got a flare. Now, I have a flashlight, so I don't really need that, but we got a flare. Okay, recently I did see some terror uh, tokens come in that was like two, 112, very weird number. And I think what that means is that my rocket came back with, not that one, with, not that one either. Which one was it? With, nope, with, not that one either. With, yes, the energy <laughs> multiplier fuses in it. Sweet. All right, I'm going to go stash these because, like I said, we're going to save these for a little bit later in the episode. But uh, I'm going to stash these back at home for right now. Okay, so now the big billion dollar question, where am I retiring? I could retire on top of the waterfall, and that would be actually a really cool spot. In fact, I'm really tempted to do that. I could retire in the canyon, because the canyon is a really nice place. I could retire back at the ring again, which I've already done that though, so I'm not going to do that. I don't really think so. I could retire back at spawn. Wouldn't that be fun? Um, where do I want to retire? I could retire out of the Warden's Paradise. You know what? Maybe, uh... 
Maybe I retire in the canyon. That sounds like a nice place to go. I'm gonna retire in the canyon this season. But getting out there is a whole other thing. I can I can warp to NASA like this. Uh, Bink right here. And then from here, I can just go behind the building. And here's the canyon. Yeah, that's how I'll do it. I'll, I'll pick a plateau, and I'll just reside on one of the plateaus. Now, I don't really plan on building a nice, uh, huge, luxurious facility like last season. I'm a quaint person. I have a huge cradle base over the crater, okay? I don't really need anything too fancy. But I do want something nice. And I think this is, this uh, NASA facility turned out really nice. So I'm thinking something along the lines of that, just maybe a little bit bigger. But over there, also. So I gotta grab some supplies, because these... Uh, these where are they? These structures, these things like this, for example. I want to make sure I have one of these things in there, as well as this. And then uh, probably a nice livable place tucked on the back of it here for any storage or anything like that as well. I can also put up walls and dividers to create rooms. It's a lot of fun. A lot, this game's a lot of fun. I don't know if you guys know this, but I'm having a lot of fun playing this game. All right, so i got to grab some supplies, uh, super alloy, stuff like that. I also got to put down a little bit of a platform that I wanted to build this on too, like a porch. So let's uh, let's go grab a bunch of iron to start off with. Oh, yeah, look at this thingy. There's frogs over here. There's frogs over here, too. Now, there is no frog thing nearby here, other than that this is just the naturally occurring one. There's, there's a red frog right here. There's frogs over here, too. So, they've added it so that your animals that you've added will be spread out more. Like, see, this is where all the frogs actually are. But I guess you can find them out in the wild now if you have them on the planet, which is kind of a cool little feature. It makes a lot of sense, you know? It makes sense that you'd be able to do that. Anyway, I'm down here I'm a, uh, with the with the uh, spider, robotic spider army bearing down on me. I'm down here because this thing right here, I believe, is where all my iron is. Let's grab all this. All right, I've got an entire inventory full of iron. Now, getting over that looks like a beautiful plateau right there. We're just going to go for that one right there. Now, I can't fly across. I could make a bridge, but you know what? I don't really want to. And once I get a teleporter down, I don't think it's going to matter. So this thing, I don't think I can build these things here, right? Like, that's the way that it has to be above it. So I want to make sure that I give myself enough room that I can spread out and build a little bit without having to worry about clipping into the rock. So, eh? Something like that. Wow, well, let's get to placing a whole bunch of these. All right, there we go. We got this whole platform down. Now... Uh, I do have a little bit of iron left over. I did not use all of the iron that I have. Obviously, it's going to be constantly replenishing, so I don't really have to worry about it too much. But I was thinking um, maybe asymmetry is your friend, right, people? That's what I usually say. So I'm thinking about doing like a 3x3 uh, three three room here <clears throat> and then like a little bit of a hallway kind of connecting it and then having a similar building to what we have over there, there like the rounded 3x3 three three with the dome on top of it next to it over there. And then I wouldn't mind having like a... Uh, like a biodome or something, you know, over here is just to kind of give myself a little bit of nature, you know, <laughs> either, either a biodome or a butterfly dome, one of them, some of those things, you know, just to give myself a little bit of nature here, just to make myself feel nice and comfy, because there is just like a lot of rock up here, I mean, I mean the views are actually pretty good, because you can see all around the canyon, you can see the planets in the sky and whatnot, but they had one of those things, so make a, make a, a hallway that's five wide, maybe we'll say, Across the middle, put a biodome off the back of it, and then go into the other one over here. So yeah, all right, but I need to grab some supplies. Namely, I need to grab like a teleporter, <laughs> which they've added obsidian to the teleporter. Not like that's a big deal for me because I have plenty of that. But uh, but yeah, we got to grab that stuff. Did they retexture the pulsar quartz? It kind of looks a little different. Hold on, I must know this. Hold on, let me go look at it in the in the chest. What the heck is this over here? Hold on, I I got distracted. Oh yeah, I see we got frogs over here. So we got some of the frogs that I, I placed. They're over here. See, I, th this is way on the other side of the map from where they actually are, uh, like the the farms are. So we're up here in the crater. They're down here in the, or we're up here in the canyon. They're down here in the crater. So yeah, the frogs are spreading out. That's a big boy, <laughs> big chungus there. All right, pulsar, pulsar. Yeah, that definitely looks different than what it did before. Does it look any different, like when it's on the ground? It does. Okay, that used to be just bright pink. This has like. It looks more crystallized. Like, this is crazy. That's a really cool retexturing, too. Yeah, I like it that. It sort of looks like a repeat from uh, from Legend of Zelda, but... I mean, I guess that's the point. It is a crystal, after all. So, awesome. That's a really good addition. I like that. Okay, so what do I need to build some of these things? I just looked at it earlier in the episode, and I already completely forgot. So we need some super alloy, titanium, and iron. We, need, we got two grand right there. How about them apples? We need some more super alloy and iron, and then some cobalt. 
And super alloy, we need a lot of super alloy, titanium, and iron, and then a little bit of cobalt. Let's grab these ingredients, and then we'll get back out there. Okay, got some supplies. Inventory is a bit limited, obviously. We've got this right here. So I didn't get the, uh, I didn't get the cobalt, but whatever. We'll deal with that when the time comes. I got some supplies, but namely I got the supplies that I need to build a teleporter, so I don't have to keep doing this, what I'm doing right now. I don't have to keep Tarzaning up this vine and basically getting up here. All right, so right here in the corner for right now, this will obviously get moved. We're just going to slap this bad boy down. Boy, I'm just like that, and we're going to call this uh, RH, Retirement Home, for right now. I'll actually spell it out when I get the more permanent spot. But speaking of permanent spots, let's go ahead and maybe in this back. Uh, let's move it forward just a little bit. Uh, let's put down this. It's a big thing. Let's put down this thing right there. How's that? Is that a good placement? Decent, decent, decent. Okay. Yeah, I like that. All right, and then uh, and then we're gonna have to eyeball it <laughs> to get. Oh, that's uh, to get this thing placed because I want to have this thing in line. I really should. I really should grab supplies to build. What do I need I, to build some of these things? Oh, I actually have the supplies to build that. Hold on, let me actually just kind <clears> of <throat> slap this thing down real quick. Let's uh, let's see. These are three wide, so uh, that that that. Now is that gonna be enough to actually? Oh, am I out of stuff? I am out of stuff to build the next part. Dang it. Oh, this is, this is the wrong thing. This is the wrong thing. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. I, I screwed this whole thing up. Three by three living compartment. That's better. Even bigger than the other one, so I really can't see what I'm doing. All right, let's back this thing up then. Where's the end of the platform? Can you guys see what you're doing? Because I can't see what I'm doing. Let's slap this down and see what happens. Okay, you know what? I'm going to move it over just a bit. Eh? Not bad. That's pretty good. Yep, like that. Good. Okay, now let's put down... Some of these things here in the center of that thing, like is what I was trying to do before. I'm out of supplies to build the next part of this, but I'm wondering, is that enough space to build a biodome? Maybe I should build a biodome first, just to make sure that I can fit it in here. Now, I don't need it for terraforming or anything like that. It's simply just so I can have nice trees. <laughs> I want to see nice things, dang it. So let's, uh, let's actually add, do I do add a butterfly dome or a biodome? Ah, let's add a butterfly dome. Who doesn't like a few butterflies, you know? All right, so uh, let's see. We need both kind of fertilizers, some super alloy, zeolite, and tree bark. We got all that. All right, let's go ahead and hop up here and maybe, maybe, maybe. Hold on. I know a way to make sure that this will fit. Let me take this and slap it down right there. And then we added the biodome, the butterflies. Turn that. Lock that in place. Good. Now, it does hang over a little bit here. So, how much iron do I have? I don't really have a whole lot to actually mess with right now. Actually, we'll, we'll add the supports later. Hold on. Uh, over here on this side, though, let's grab this uh, rounded living compartment. And we're going to slap that bad boy down right there. And then, do I have enough for the, the thing on top? I don't. I need two two bits of iron, which I used in... Not quite that. I just miscounted. Oh, no, I did. I, I used them in this. Whoopsie. All right, so let me go grab some more iron. All right, now that I got the iron. Let's go ahead and grab ourselves a living compartment with a dome. Let's see if we can't line this up kind of right eh that is not correct <laughs> eh nope, nope that's wrong too alright let's just put something on there and then lock this to it <laughs> maybe that'll be easier look at that it lines up perfectly let's get rid of this now maybe can I there we go got it all right, and uh, I also I don't have a way in here do I I also am going to put down uh, uh, windows on the sides of this because I want to be able to look around and see what's going on. There we go. Good. Now, I don't have a way inside this building yet, alright? I'm thinking the way I'm going to uh, the, the entrance to it, I'm going to slap on like another one of these things once I get more iron. Right on the front, that'll be the vestibule. You enter you can go left to, this is where all the scientific stuff is going to be, and this is where all my living stuff is going to be. So let's go grab a little bit more iron, and then we'll get our, our way into this place. All right, slap down the entrance right there. Bam, just like that, and we're home. Ah, this place is spacious. Holy cow. All right, so one thing that I want to do or that I kind of need more iron for <laughs> so I want to get a ladder up to where the dome is right there so I can get access to that. And I also think that it would probably be a good idea if I added a couple more buildings right here. I know this is going to take that, that window out of there then, but... Add a couple more buildings here to put a ladder in so that it doesn't impede with what's going on up there. Although I guess it doesn't it doesn't really matter. Let me get on top of this thing. 
yeah, you could fit a ladder right in there and it'll probably look really nice. But I do want to at least add another uh, another building like on the side of this, just so I have a spot, a good spot for the uh, the teleporter. Unless I can find a spot to put it. No, I can put it over there. Never mind. I don't need. You know, screw all that. Adding a little extra buildings on the side. I think we're good the way it is right now. In fact, I think I just grabbed a bit of iron off there. Which, yeah, I can build the ladder right now. So, oh, I do want to put that window back though. Whatever. We'll put the ladder in right now, and then we'll put the window back. <laughs> Bam! All right, let's get up here. Good. Actually, that does frame that very nicely. I like that. This is going to be my bedroom. All right. This is a big improvement from last season. <laughs> This is a big improvement. I can just stare here at the bugs, at the larvae just squirming around on the roof. And I can just chill and watch the meteors hit me in the face all night. It's great. So, I, yeah, I like this. I like this a lot. Now, I do... Actually, do I want to put that window back? I don't think I want to put that window back. I think it looks fine being sealed up like that, that one side. Everything else looks great. Yeah, okay, I like that. All right, so now let's head down, down here. And let's talk about this part right here. The, let's go grab the, the teleporter real fast, because I'm going to move that in here as well. Break that thing down real fast. Go in here. And now I want it, we actually can put up walls now. We don't have to put up, like, uh, glass windows anymore. Like, I used to put up these things to divide up areas. But we can actually put up interior walls now. How cool is that? Um, I don't think they actually look very good, but <laughs> I kind of got, I, I grew fond of looking at the glass walls instead. But whatever. That's just a personal preference of mine. Uh, let's get this thing lined up somewhere in the center ish that yeah, looks pretty good let's just go right there all right now we're gonna call this retirement home just like that bam all right so this is gonna be our retirement home this is gonna be our facility now i am gonna have a small bit of storage a kitchen and uh and of course a office an office as well because even though i am retired out here i am gonna need to know if sentinel core actually does contact me to like say they're coming to get me you know so it's going to be kind of important so that's all going to be over here in this area then on this area here we're going to put some butterflies in here just to make sure that i still remember that nature is fun let me slap a door on here so they don't come flooding into my my living area and then this whole area is going to be basically just relaxation comfort lounge area and then of course the bedroom up here so i got some decorating to do still but it all starts with putting in some of these walls so i gotta go grab um some more iron who'd have thought Okay, interior walls. Let's go ahead and see if we can't slap these things on. Uh, hello, can I turn these? There we go. I was like, can I turn these? Did these not Oh, ooh, I thought I saw it. I thought I saw it for a second. Do these only attach to the sides? That's kind of weird. I kind of want to break this area up. Or do I have to do that with <laughs> with actual... Uh, why do these attach only to the side? I, I don't really want to use the living compartments, these things. But I might have to, instead of using a 3x3, three three, which looks really nice and open, it's weird that I'm making a nice big open space only to enclose it a little bit more. But I might actually have to use all living compartments for this. Well, dang it. Alright, let's tear that thing down. Alright, so we have some supplies here that can make three of them. But we're going to need to make nine of these things. It's so weird that I have to backtrack and use use uh, outdated stuff instead of the stuff I want to, but... Oh, well, them's the games, you know, that's the name of the game right there. So I need nine of these things. What is that? Six, seven, eight, nine. That's more than enough right there already. Um, I think that's nine. Yeah, that's nine. Okay, so let's get out there and build a three-by-three three compartment out of living compartments. <laughs> One, two, three, and then we can go out either way. And then... They ran out of supplies. Oh, it's the iron. God, I keep forgetting about the iron. Grr. All right, now where were we? Something like right there, and something like right there, and then like right here, and right here. All right, so there's a three by three living area, except for it's got these things in the middle of it, which I'm not too fond of, actually. I was kind of hoping just to have nice clean walls, but they don't seem to lock in place on the three by three living compartment. Rather unfortunate. All right, let's go ahead and tear this thing back down and once again place it. All right, now it's placed. Retirement home. All right, so there that's back in place now I do need to go grab more materials now so I can place the walls in now that we have it broken into little compartments Okay, the only question is, is how bad is this going to look like I said I'm not too fond of these walls actually because I, I, I Just don't like how they look So if I put it this way that means the hallway is gonna be a little bit wider But the room over here is gonna be a little bit more condensed So maybe I want to put these walls on the side of the hallway, like so. There we go, and that leaves me some extra wiggle room over here. 
but um, okay, yeah, yeah. Like I said, once once I see, I, I wish I didn't have these things in the way. I wish it was just clean walls. That's what I was going for. But all right, that's the best I can do. All right, so we're gonna turn one of these things into a kitchen and one into a uh, an office area. So I guess this will be my office area. Yeah, this will be my office area, and this will be my kitchen over here. So what do we do to make a kitchen? One thing I want to make sure I have in here is, uh, obviously, uh, desktops are going to be important, but this thing right here, the cooking station. So we need a super alloy and a circuit board, and then we're going to need some of these things put in place, maybe one of these guys, maybe even a cool one of those guys to decorate it up a little bit, and, of course, a fridge. So we're going to need some of that. Oh, I'm also dying of dehydration, so let's just zip over to the crater real fast. To go. We're at the end of the game here. We're highly technologically advanced. Let's drink some of this pond water. Maybe. Won't let me drink the pond water. There we go. Got it. All right. Now let's go grab the supplies to make our kitchen. All right. This seems like as good a place as any to do this. Let's go ahead and put down the the fridge kind of in the corner right here. Uh, actually, hold on. Let me. Well, actually, no. I'm gonna put that down and then that'll help me eyeball it up for the next part. And then we're going to put down maybe a desktop right next to it here. Maybe a little desk action going. I kind of want to, This is basically like a counter is what I'm, I'm trying to do here. Eh? Like so? All right. Not bad. I kind of want to push that to the corner on this side, though. So, eh? Better. Okay. And then this thing can be moved over a little bit, too. Not that. But this thing can be moved over just a little bit as well. Like so? Good. All right. We're just gonna call this uh, fridge. <laughs> All right, and then um, over here, let's go ahead and slap down this cooking station right here, like so. There we go. Got a nice little sink. This looks like a nice little kitchen, doesn't it? Can I put down like one of these things up high someplace? Can I like have it sitting up? I have it on top of the locker. <laughs> no, apparently not. All right. Oh well. I thought it'd be cool like cabinets or something, but I don't think we can make cabinets. I don't think that's a thing. But all right, so there we go. We got ourselves a nice little kitchen set up already. Now this thing, I am going to have it uh, demand uh, superfood, and I'm going to have it demand water. <laughs> okay, where's water? Where right there? Water. All right, so it's going to demand this, and hopefully that just gets filled up then with food and water at all times. I'll have it just Uber eat it all the way to my uh, all the way to my retirement home, so I don't have to actually build farms or anything out here. Which is kind of nice. Now this thing, I could also take some time to start making some of these things, but I don't really necessarily need them. <coughs> I don't really need them, but I could make them here. It's possible. I mean, all these ingredients I can easily acquire. Like that, for example. I can make that, no problem. But, what is a kitchen without a nice place to eat? So what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to build ourselves a table over here. A nice flower pot and maybe a chair or something next to it so I can sit here and eat. Maybe put a window in here make it look all nice and fancy. All right, sometimes maybe the fridge is filling up with water primarily, and nobody's dropped off any superfood lately. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to put down a cooler. <laughs> put down a cooler here, and this is going to be the water cooler. All right, and then this can, uh, uh, we can stop demanding that and start just demanding superfood in here. And then we can take the water out of here, stash it in there. Whatever's left can go in there as well. Bam, okay, so there. We'll at least get some food delivered out here then, hopefully. Uh, I did set the farm back at the uh, crater that I've been grabbing superfood from uh, manually because I didn't need it to actually be grabbing the superfood out of there and putting it in, into like the rockets at cream. Uh, I've been manually grabbing it. I was told that to also supply superfood as well. So hopefully it starts bringing some of that stuff out here because I'm getting hungry. All right, so let's go ahead and put down... Oh, that's a little table. Okay. I forgot. This is more like a coffee table. Put down that and does this chair look like not make sense then? Eh, it's not that bad. It's a little, I mean, I'm, my back is going to be killing me. <laughs> it's going to be killing me just sitting here hunched over eating food. But hey, you know, at least it gives me a place to sit down. All right, let's open up a little bit of space in here maybe and do uh, maybe one of these things right here so we can actually look out and see the butterflies and see whatever else is out there. Maybe see Sentinel Core landing over there so that he can come pick me up and stuff. Something kind of nice. Now right here, we got to do some kind of like little decorative something or another because it sort of sucks. So let's get, put down like maybe... A case off to the side or whatever and then what we'll do is we'll slap down a fish on the wall <laughs> now I got to go actually get a fish egg and drop it in there but uh, ooh, there's some meteors coming in and then we can also display other kinds of foods right in here so it kind of makes it feel all kitchen like but this is looking pretty good I'm gonna go make a fish egg and grab some stuff and wait for these meteors to finish all right, meteors have finally stopped. It was one of the super alloy ones, so the chunks of those should disappear relatively quickly. Let's go ahead and start moving all the crops over here that uh, that we could possibly eat, as well as space food, which I still have some of that. I haven't eaten it from the beginning of the game, as well as high-quality food. So there we go. We got our foods on display. 
that we have here in the kitchen. Uh, as well as, let's go ahead and slap a fish in there. <laughs> Pull that right out of the uh, right out of the uh, life water collector uh, down in the bottom of the crater. So there we go. Now I know you can actually get different fish in different parts of the world, but never really dove too deep into the fish. Maybe next season we'll do that. Uh, but all right, so there we go. We got our kitchen done. Pretty nice. All right, so on to the office now. Okay. All right. Oh, is this filling up with food? Is there food in here? There's not any food in here. Are you guys, you guys getting food? So I bump this up to like max priority. I need food over here ASAP. I'm trying to figure out why. I guess maybe because other things are set to the same priority, so it was just going to the nearest one. But now with this thing being set to max priority, it should now grab things from here and maybe even here. Uh, and bring them out this way. I'm hoping to see that pretty soon because I want I want my fridge full of food. All right, now uh, the uh, office area. This can be spread out a little bit. So, hmm, I'm thinking some shelves here, or not shelves, some uh, desks here, as well as like some screens on the walls, and maybe the main screens right here. As soon as you walk in, communications over here, or vice versa. Vice versa. Put communications over here so that way I can put the antenna above them, and then over here will be the um, of the other monitoring stations and stuff. All right, what do I have? Not a whole lot. Oh, I was gonna put like a nice decorative little plant thing in here too. I totally forgot about that. We can still do that. It's not not the end of the world. Let's <laughs> let's put this by the window so that maybe it gets like some some uh, some life from or some sunlight coming in or whatever. So I need to get a I need to get a plant for that. But I also need to get a bunch of iron again because I got to make a bunch of these things as well as I need to start making all these screens again. So I better grab some silicon iron cobalt, uh, silicon iron cobalt. A lot of silicon and iron <laughs> and cobalt. <laughs> Interestingly enough, seed lermas would probably be what I want to put in there, and I don't think I have any of them. I think I've used all of them on the ro rockets. I mean, I can always go grab more, but that's eh, all right. Now, I do have some, some golden seed. Oh, and I do have a couple of them right there. Look at that. I can still put them in there. You know what? We're going to put a golden seed in there instead, a golden flower. I'm going to add those to my, uh, my, <laughs> my dining room. Let's get back out there, see if we can't get some of the office built as well. Right, first we gotta drop the golden seed in there. There you go, bwam, grow my pretty. All right, so <laughs> over here, let's go ahead and grab ourselves some of these desks. And we're gonna move this thing over as much as possible. Squeeze this in here, it should fit. That's what she said. <laughs> All right, and then this one goes right next to it like that, good. Now I'm gonna do the same thing over here, like, like so, and then like so, got it. All right, there we go. We got ourselves a nice little desk. I'm thinking, again, a couple of chairs in here, too, so that I can park it. Now, do I have this stuff with me to grab, make this? I do. Okay, let's go ahead and put this down right here, so that way we can get an update at all times as to how we're doing on the terraformation of the planet. Not like we need it, because the terraformation is done. Uh, and then this one will be the other one to display what, what uh, phase we're on. However, that also is completely irrelevant, considering that we are on the name stage. <laughs> We've reached the end of the game, so there's no, no more... No more, no more to go, but if the game updates, and there is, we'll, we'll be well on our way. I wouldn't doubt it if the game updates that I'm already in the next stage, though, so... Because, I mean, we did launch a stupid amount of rockets, so... Okay, so I need to put down some stuff over here. Now, this is going to be everything other than communication. Every communication is going to be over here. So I'm thinking, like, power levels... Uh, anything dealing with the satellites and communication are going to be over here. Anything dealing with power levels and blueprints are going to be over here. And I do want to put a blueprint screen out here. Despite the fact that I haven't put that anywhere else. <laughs> how many, wait, how many monitors are going to go over here? So the transmission screen's on the other side. Energy levels can be over here. Blueprints, that's two. Mapping will be on the communications side. Orbital information, I think there's only two. I think there's only two that are going over here. So we can space these things out just a little bit. That one. And the energy levels, which I need magnesium for. Time to run back to base. Okay, grab the last, or gra grab a little bit of magnesium there. Not much. Just enough to get this one down right here. Wham, just like that. Okay, cool. Got the monitors there for checking out power levels, which are still doing great. And then also checking out the blueprints, which we're not going to unlock anything. Uh, and then also biomass stuff like that as well. We're not unlocking anything. It's purely aesthetic, all right? But, I mean, we are doing great. We got 79 nuclear reactor tier 2s going, as well as 16 nuclear reactors, or fusion nuclear reactors going, or nuclear fusion generators, rather. That's pumping out stupid amounts of power, thanks to the fuses that are over there. So, yeah, we got plenty of power now. The other mon uh, monitors that we need over here are this one, which I can actually build. How many are we putting in here? Three? Three. Three? Yeah, three of them. All right, so we can we can space this out so that one's going to not be able to put be put down right in the middle because it's actually right on the top of two desks. So we're just going to have to kind of wing it a little bit here. Let's, let's turn this 
let's actually not turn this one. Let's keep that straightforward. And what we'll do is we'll put it like a slightly off to the side like that. And then the other one will go here, and then the other one will go there. Now the other two take microchip, uh, comp uh, compass microchips in each one of them. So we got to go make two of those things as well as grab a piece of osmium, and we should be good. I'm getting a little thirsty, so let's grab something. Oh, nice, we got food over here too. Let's grab a bite to eat too. Heading off into the kitchen. Ha <laughs> ha! All right, let's go back over to the office, and let's slap down some of these things here. So we got to get the mapping. Eh. Uh, and then we got to get the orbital information screen. Yeah. All right, sweet. Now, this doesn't make sense because we don't actually have, actually, none of this makes sense because we don't have, actually have an antenna close by, but I guess it just counts it if it's anywhere on the planet. However, I do want to actually make this somewhat realistic-ish. <laughs> so I want to actually put an antenna up here, which means I need to go grab a piece of titanium and a piece of aluminum. All right, there's no better time to be putting up an antenna getting your direct TV installed than in the middle of a sandstorm So let's go ahead and just slap that down right there. That's right above where the uh, monitors are and everything too. So that should work out well Okay, nice now. We're looking pretty good. I need to get butterflies in here, but uh, let's let's make sure the office is all done first All right, so we need to get a couple of chairs put in here, and then we also need a biomass monitor I wonder if I can put that like right here maybe let me go grab those supplies. Okay, let's see. Where are we going to put this biomass screen? Um, this thing. I mean, we can probably stop it there, but can't we just, like, put it, like, right here? Biomass isn't super important to look at anymore. I mean, it's just another one of the stats, but since we're already terraformed, the, we've already terraformed the planet, this isn't super necessary anymore, so we'll just kind of keep it right there. All right, and then uh, I also want to add, <clears throat> in this area, a crafting station. And maybe we'll put that on the other side right over here. Back that up as much as we can. Put that right there. All right, sweet. So not like it's super important, but that way we can actually craft things here on the fly, assuming we have the ingredients for them. And then the final thing to add over here is going to be the office chairs. So let's just go ahead and turn this thing a little bit. Put that like right here. And then the other one on this side too, same thing. Uh, we'll maybe put it like kind of tucking against the desk a little bit like that. We can still access these things though. So you can see the stupid amounts of rockets that are out there. <laughs> <laughs> ah, all right. So then, uh, then yeah. Actually, you know what? If the developers are watching this, <laughs> and you, you get the you get it in your hearts that you want to add an achievement to the game, I would highly recommend adding an achievement called "Let's Make It Stupid," and put a uh, put it in there for like launching, say, a hundred rockets. I know it's not as stupid as what I've done, because what I've done is beyond stupid, but yeah, make an achievement in the game for launching 100 rockets. Call it Let's Make It Stupid. That'd be an amazing Easter egg for Grimer Gaming in the game, and an easy one to add as well. But alright, I think that the office and the kitchen are basically done. They're done, I believe. So, let's move on down the hall a little bit here. We gotta get a doorway for this, and we gotta get butterflies in there as well. And then, um... I think that's all we got to do for this part here. This is just a nice little nature area for me to reside in. We could decorate up the hallways a little bit by putting like a couch or something like that in here so that we can just chill and relax at any point in time. Let's just say we don't want to sleep up on our dome up here. Let's just say we're sick and tired of this beautiful view. You know, <laughs> we want we want this metallic, disgusting view. We want, <laughs> we want to sleep here with the bugs. You know, we'll put a bed here. Not a bed, but a, a couch that we can lay on or something. All right, but I got to get a doorway for this, which uh, that takes... Um, it takes some silicon, iron, and titanium. And then we also got to get a butterfly. And I know just the one I'm going to put in here. Oh, hello, beautiful. Would you like to have a permanent place at, <laughs> at my retirement home? I thought you would. All right, first things first. Let's add the doorway so the butterflies don't escape. There, bam. All right, sweet. Now, next thing, let's add some golden butterfly. I could actually add another one in here. But let's add some golden butterfly larvae in here just to make them float around and look all nice and purdy. Yep, they look pretty. I don't actually need another butterfly in here. I mean, I could put a different one if I want a little bit of diversity with the butterflies, but I think golden ones look fine. All I'd be doing is adding another golden butterfly, which I think might add more butterflies in here, but this is nice. This is very zen-like. That's what this whole thing is for. So I think I'm just going to put only one in there. Hopefully nobody gets smashed by the door when it closes, too. All right, so that's basically that. I could put the couch in the... In the uh, like outside the, the door and whatever in the walkway here which wouldn't be a too bad of an idea but before i do that let's head on over into here let's focus on the living room all right now do i want to make these customizable sofas and stuff smart fabrics what does it take to make the smart fabric fabric and a circuit board it doesn't really take much but it only makes one 
And I, I kind of like the blue. I'm not really a, a fan of changing it, really. I mean, it's cool that you can do that, but I don't really care. <laughs> like, I think I think the blue looks fine. So, all right, let's just stick with the blue for, for now. And then um, let's make ourselves a couple of these, a couple of those. So, uh, I'm going to need, like, six of that. That's for that so I need 10 fabric for what I'm thinking of in my head and then I'm going to need uh, what was the rest iron I think it's iron yeah it's always iron okay okay let's grab some of these supplies real fast and then uh, head out there and do a little bit of decorating all right so this is a nice circular room which is cool um, first off let's get this thing right smack dab in the center of the room like so good and now I kind of want to build like a uh, couch that kind of curves around this a little bit like maybe uh, that and I gotta get this to connect then nice and perfectly this might take me a little bit give me a second okay I remember this used to work but it looks like this kind of snaps weird now I don't know if that's a bug but it used to be able to, it almost looks like it's on a grid, which I'm pressing all sorts of buttons thinking that maybe I accidentally have it set up so it's doing that on, on purpose. But it looks like this only goes like in certain places. And it used to be that you could connect this right up nice and tight and place it wherever you wanted to. I wonder if that's because it's inside this new building. This might actually be a bug. Hold on. Let me see. I don't know. It looks like it's snapping in places here too. Hmm. Cause then, like, what's the point of having the circular piece if it doesn't connect? <laughs> it doesn't connect to it, you know. Like, there's always going to be a gap here. That looks terrible. Um, I'm thinking that might be a bug. I'm going to probably relog and see if that changes, though. If oh, like, see, that kind of works. Yeah, these things are finicky now. I don't. I'm not liking this. Eh. Yeah. See, it used to. Now it doesn't connect there at all. So yeah, yeah. Ugh, ugh, that looks terrible. I mean, the collision hitboxes are a little bit better now, but it's still, oh, never mind. They went right to hell real fast. It still is pretty bad. That does not look good. Okay, well, if I can't actually do the kind of nice curved couches like what I used to like to do, it kind of changes my plan a little bit here. I guess we're gonna do away with the angled couch because there's really no point in those now that you can't, uh, Hmm, you can't connect them to the other one, so what we'll do is we'll just kind of put two couches on either side of this thing. And just leave the angle out of it completely. <laughs> I guess that kind of works. Yeah, we'll, we'll make it work. We'll make it work. Okay, this windstorm is really annoying, but it is just a windstorm, and it's not its not actually like a uh, meteor shower, so that's a plus. Um, yeah, we'll make that work. Maybe like a flower pot right there or something. I was going to kind of put those along the sides, but... That kind of changes things. One thing I do want to add on the sides, though, and I wonder if I can still do this, because ice is, I think, needed for it, but let's pop this chip out of my head. Where is it? This one right there. All right, let's look in here. I want to add these things along the sides. I want to add, like, six of them. If not more. Nine of them, probably. So I need 18 ice. Ooh. Ooh, that's going to be a tough one. Why is it sandy in here? It's going to be a tough one. Okay, so I have uh, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 ice. So I need 6 more. Let me go check the Zeolite Cave real quick. So this Zeolite Cave actually saved my life already in the Season 1 since because there's ice in there. Sweet. Alright, so there's 1, so I need 5 more. 2, 3, 4, 5. I actually need one more because I, I don't know how to count. <laughs> there we go. All right, got the ice. All right, that should be enough to actually build what I want now. Thank God the uh, ice still resides in caverns here. All right, let's get back there. Now, what else do I need? I need silicon, magnesium, and iron to build these as well. So I got to grab some of that and then head up, head back to the retirement home. All right, I can't actually hold enough to build all of these all at once. So it's going to take a couple of trips, but that's okay. Let's head back out there and actually build some of these things. So I was thinking like three in each corner on those three corners right here. Not that corner, just, just these three. So let's go ahead and grab these things and put one right smack dab in the middle. And then one slightly off to the side and then one slightly off to the side on this side. Like that. I think that looks really cool and futuristic and scientific and stuff. So why not go with it? All right, let's put down... Uh, I don't have enough for another one. I forgot the, all the ice. It's all right. I, I was going to need to make multiple trips anyway. 
All right, that's all of them put in place. Now, I do need to put uh, some plants in there. And I wouldn't mind making it relatively uniform. So do I have nine of one kind of oxygen plant? I'm thinking I do. I have a whole lot of those things back there. O2 plants. What do I got in here? There's some nice pink ones, some nice white ones. And I, I don't have nine of the purple ones, unfortunately. And nor do I have nine of the golden ones. Red ones look kind of cool. Green ones. Uh, let's go with the... Which ones do more? Not like that really matters. I don't know why I keep looking at it. It's the... Uh... Well, technically the purple ones do in these guys. So, but the next one down would that I have enough of would be these white and yellow ones. So let's do that. There's three, three. I need two more. All right, let's go put these in place, and then we'll move on to the next bit of decoration. There we go. Now I don't have anything over here, and that's fine. I'm thinking about putting another like maybe terraformation monitor or something like against this wall if I can. It's curved. That's kind of a weird thing. I don't know if I can actually fit that there. Something that basically it's like a TV screen. So when you're sitting here on the couch. <laughs> You can see that, you know? Yeah, I'm thinking that might be a good idea. Let's see. Uh, let's, uh, let's slap this thing back in my head uh, so that we can kind of narrow down our, our search view here a little bit. Um, but it's got to be one of these larger monitors. So maybe the, the one with the actual Terraformation information on it. The Terraformation screen. Yeah, that's all it is. Let's get that one put in place. Okay, I'm really hoping this fits here now that it's kind of turning all red like right there it should click and go because it's not impeding with anything but it just isn't i'm don't i don't think i can actually put this here that's really unfortunate i think this has to go on like a flatter surface like i can probably put it on this wall yeah i could put it right there which that does not look good huh well oh i know hold on one second i got an idea there it's not like a super big television screen but it is technically what could be considered a television screen I think if we throw a couple little plant pots next to that, that'll look just nice. This will give us a prime opportunity to put these uh, purple flowers in some place as well. Another sandstorm is hitting, which is a little disheartening, but whatever. We're going to keep on building through it. Let's go ahead and place those things, get these uh, plant orma uh, growing here. Which, is that the one that grows here naturally on top of the canyon? I can't really remember. I think it is. It might be. There we go. We got ourselves a couple of nice plants. We got ourselves a nice little I think I was going to put a plant pot right here too, but I don't think I'm going to. I think I'll just leave that as, as it is. All right, so this is looking great. And then, of course, we go up here, and this is where our bedroom's going to be, which is the next thing that we have to work on. So, obviously, I need a sweet bed. So, I, I, I don't really need a different color change or different, uh, yeah, color changeable bed. I think that using just a regular one will just be just fine. So let's go ahead and grab ourselves, what is that, six pieces of fabric and iron. So we're going to get that down first. And then I'm going to probably put like a little table next to it or so. A little end table, you know, whatever. Chair also around in here. But for the most part, this is going to be a very simple room because I don't want to impede any of the windows. I kind of like how this looks. I mean, I don't like the sandstorm. That can go away. But I like how this is open. So this is going to be basically a bed with a couple of little things next to it. <laughs> No joke, this might actually be the simplest room to decorate. So, all right, let's grab the bed. And I want to be able to sleep directly under the stars. So we're going to do something a little bit off-center like that. All right, sweet. So that's my bed. That's my bed. This is what I wake up to every day. Can you imagine, though, if I wake up from sleeping and there's one of those meteor showers coming down? <laughs> it scares the crap. <laughs> scares the crap out of me. All right, now I'm going to put a foot locker in here as well. So any extra storage I might want. You know, a little something-something to put in there. Uh, personal storage. We're going to grab one of these tables and put that off to the side. In case I have any beverages up here, I need to set things down on you know, my phone, whatever. Something tells me I don't get very good signal or reception out here, though. Uh, put that down right there. Now, is there anything? Oh, yeah, I was going to put down a chair as well. And the chair will be basically so when I get out of bed, I have a place to kind of sit down. Although I could sit on the bed. I have a place to sit down and, you know, put my shoes on and whatnot. And that's it. That is my bedroom, okay? Like I said, I don't want to go all out with this thing because I want to keep this nice and open. It's supposed to be very spacious. Not to mention that if there are any, any other aliens that end up visiting this planet and I'm sleeping here, they're going to easily, easily be able to see me. I'm going to get no privacy sleeping here. <laughs> all right, so let's see. What do we got down here? Is this all decorated up? This looks pretty good. Fancy like, you know, and then this is looking all right. I'm thinking this hallway is kind of boring. So why don't we actually get some decorations put in here, like maybe some uh, butterflies on display or something like that lining it? I also could put a frog displayer down. I kind of completely forgot about that. Uh, hmm. Just takes tree bark for that. That's actually a pretty easy thing to do. Maybe slap it on the table in here. Okay, uh, yeah, let's go grab some tree bark and then grab some more iron, of course, and fabric. And let's get uh, let's get decorating this hallway a little bit. Now, if we are going to be putting down a frog display and butterfly display, we're going to need some butterflies and frogs. 
more butterflies than we do frogs, but let's go back here and see if I have any frog eggs whatsoever. <laughs> I've kind of used a lot of them, I believe. I have generic frog eggs. I wonder if this should work, though. Like, it'll, it'll display a frog. It won't be a pretty frog, but it, it should display a frog. Uh, and then we just need some butterflies, which I should have plenty of them, uh, just from capturing them up on the, up in my, uh, my little insect area up here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, all right, sweet. Yeah, we, we got a bunch of these things. I haven't placed any of these, uh, these sweet, like, uh, onyx-colored butterflies, so I want to put one of them there. That golden one sure is coming with us. That's really colorful. Mm-hmm. That, too. I don't have room for any of these things right now, but I'll be back for more of them. All right, so this hallway right here is where it starts. It's kind of bland, kind of boring. Actually, first, let's go put down the frog display. Just get that out of my inventory. Slap that down right there, and then we'll put these frogs in there, and biggity-bam, we got a frog on a... <laughs> <laughs> we got a frog on a desk just chilling there. Is it is it like a still image or is that thing actually like moving? Is it like a real frog that's like stuck there like with paralysis or something? No, it looks like it's just a still still frog. Okay, that was gonna freak me out if that thing moved. It will freak me out if that thing moves. All right, so I'm thinking like maybe putting like two maybe on each of these walls. So eight total it'll be. Let's go ahead and grab some of these things and we'll kind of put that there and put that there and then turn them completely around and. Think for that there, and then think for that there. Now over here, we walk this way just a little bit. Think there, and think, and again turn this thing completely around. Think and think, like so. All right, now we can start putting in the butterflies. You know what I don't have? I don't have another one of these butterfly larvae, and those are found down in the mushroom area. I'm kind of tempted to take a little trip out there and actually see if I can't find one for my wall. I kind of want one on my wall. Okay, so the mushroom biome is actually located right underneath the uh, the waterfall area. So it's somewhere, I think it's right here is where it is. What is that? That's new. There's like a bunch of trees or roots or something over there. Hold on one second. What is this? What are you? This is, oh, it connects. It connects. Oh my gosh, my, my bridge just became obsolete. <laughs> is this always going to be open? That's like a super easy way to get to the waterfall area. Holy cow. Okay, yeah, my bridge, it, my bridge that I made is totally obsolete. Don't need it anymore. Don't even see it on the map anymore. I think if you zoom in, you might be able to still see it. Maybe. Yeah, it's right there. That bridge right there, totally obsolete. There's a way over here now. Much faster. Well, actually, I think the bridge might still be faster from my area, but if this was here earlier in the season, I would have never built that. <laughs> it's a really cool feature, too. I like how it just kind of like outlines the, uh, the waterfall as you come through it, too, but... All right, well, we're out here to check for the uh, the, the glowing pink uh, larva. Where is the entrance to the mushroom area again? Is it right here? Is this it? Sure is. All right, sweet. Now, we are looking for one of these pink larva for my wall at my retirement home. Oh, 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 I see the pink glow. There it is. Big bam Let's grab that. All right, one is all I needed, so let's get on out of here. All right, let's go ahead and slap in a couple of these butterflies then. Big bam, including that glowing one. Looks good. Nice. All right, now I still got a little bit of uh, fabric and stuff in there, so I am going to probably put those uh, sofas in here like what I was talking about. It doesn't really get in the way, does it? No, it doesn't. Okay, this should actually work out pretty good. No, not a bed. I don't need a bed. I mean, I, I might use these as a bed in the future, but I don't actually need a bed here. Does that line up? No. No, it doesn't. Okay, that's looking a little bit better. Sweet, so we got some we got some sofas just chilling in here. Uh, putting like maybe a plant or something next to these things would probably make them look a lot better. I could probably do that real fast too. And then I think this place is, for the most part, done as far as the interior of it. You know what, I changed my mind on the plant thing. I just don't think it's gonna look very good. I can either smash it in this corner over here and then it kind of gets gassed constantly by what's probably just oxygen, or it's gonna block the view of the sofas entirely, so. I think maybe I'll just leave it. I'll just leave it the way it is. I think it's fine. Fine, people. It's good. All right, so sweet. All right, I think the inside of our retirement home is done, which is nice and comfortable. I like it. Let's go grab a bite to eat at the kitchen real fast. I can definitely just kind of chill out here now. I don't really have to worry about anything. I got food being delivered. I got plenty of power. So I'm... I just gotta sit and wait for Sentinel Corps to come get me. Now, let's work on the exterior part of the building here real quick. I don't really need anything added to this, I don't think. I just want to see how much space I got around this thing, though. See if there's any way that I can remove some stuff that's not necessary, like uh, probably these guys. I can probably take these things out. So, you know, it's kind of supporting some stuff there. I'll leave that there the way it is. But then on this side, same thing. 
take those things out. Yeah, that one too. Now this thing, uh, way back at the beginning of the episode, I said we we're going to need to support this, and uh, I think the time is now. Now the problem is I can't actually support it because the thing is in the way. <laughs> the thing itself is in the way. You know what? It's going to forever hover. <laughs> we'll just leave it there. Now I do want to put like some railings or something on here, so I'm going to need like a stupid amount of um, of silicon, which I should have plenty of now. I'm going to put some railings up so I don't fall off my little porch out front. Okay, there we go. Now, I wouldn't mind adding a little extension on here because I'm thinking that's it. I'm thinking our retirement home is finished, which means I'm actually done with this entire season. However, they did recently update the game, didn't they? Okay, they updated the game. So let's head, <laughs> let's run home to where our storage warehouse is because I want to explore some of this new stuff, all right? So we got, uh, let me get, uh, let me drop this back in here before that completely fills up. Eh, it fill up mostly. I'm just kind of using this locker here as a dump chest. <laughs> So, all right, so they added new things in the game, didn't they? I want to kind of explore a little bit of it. Let's talk for a, uh, for a second about the portal generator. Okay, so fusion energy cells, I'm going to need two of those. Let's run out to, uh, to the three mines real fast and see if we can't snag a couple of them before they get shot off into space and get traded. All right, got two of them out of there. Good. Now, I think I only need one of these things, so we'll just... Focus on making one of them. All right. So what else do I need? What else, what did that say? How do I play this game? Uh, we need circuit boards, compass, uh, super alloy rods, and the fuses. All right. Now that the windstorm is over, there's a windstorm that just blew through here. Let's go ahead and add this. Uh, this what is this thing called? A portal generator? So, oh, this thing is pretty big. Okay. Um, there is a ladder leading up to it, which is interesting. Oh, I can snap it right to this though. Did that just? I didn't lose power, did I? <laughs> how much How much power does this thing take? 1,890. No, I didn't lose power. Okay. So, this is new to me. I don't know how to use this. Can I... Oh, I was hoping this would spin you around when you stand on. <laughs> Alright, so this is new to me. And I think I wired this thing up correctly. The directions were in a foreign language. And I'm worried that I might have switched some wires around. So, I don't think it's... Too big of a deal? Scan for distance Rex. Let's um let's scan once. I think I got this correctly. Okay, what's this? Quasar quartz. How do we get this quartz? Like materials required. Huh. How do we get this quartz? Like a uh, pulsar quartz, sure. These other ones I don't really know how to. Unless these are found in Rex. But I think I already searched all the wrecks. Which makes me wonder, how do I get this quartz? <laughs> you know what? I'm not sure I did search all the wrecks. Hold on, wait one second. Oh, okay, there we go. Hold on, I just had to scan again. <laughs> so, from what I could find, these quartz are actually found in wrecks on the other side of the portal. So, I was wondering, how do you activate the portal if you can't get the quartz? So, I was a little confused there. But it looks like here we have... Some that we can actually use here. So we need to add just three pulsar quartz and we can open this bad boy up. Now, assuming I wired this thing up correctly, it should take me to another part of the planet that will allow me to collect cool and new resources there, like that different type of quartz, uh, and explore procedurally generated wrecks, which is a really cool thing, kind of constantly allowing you to explore new areas and find new stuff. I really like that. That's why they got rid of the meteors that come down that have the crates in them, is because you can constantly do this and find new and new wrecks, to ex more and more new wrecks to explore. And new biomes and everything, so it's going to be a lot of fun. Now, if I didn't wire this up correctly, though, i got to preface this. If I screwed something up or if I crossed some wires, there was some kind of warning in the manual about it possibly tearing a hole in the fabric of space and time and screwing up reality. So I'm a little nervous. The lights are blinking correctly. The things are spinning, so I think I wired it up correctly. So let's go grab some quartz and uh, top off our vitals, and we'll go see if we can get through this portal unscathed. Think about bringing some uh, some supplies for the trip, but you know what? I'm pretty sure I'll be fine. I can probably find like food and stuff like that in the wrecks as I'm out there, so I'm not too worried about it. So I think what you do, yeah, I sure hope I wired this thing up correctly. Let's start off with the easy one, the difficulty one, and we'll go there. Or do we just want to make it stupid and go to <laughs> difficulty four? Now nah, we'll start off simple. Simple. Open. Ooh, that's kind of fancy. Okay, and then um, and then I guess we go through. Now, once again, I have got to reiterate that I'm 
pretty sure I wired this up correctly. And if I got it wrong, well, then it tears a hole in the fabric of space and time. I don't know what's going to happen to me if I screwed this up. <laughs> this is new technology, new science. Well, here's hoping. See you guys on the other side. Woohoo! This is awesome! Oh! Oh! Ah! Uh, what? Uh, wait, where's the portal? Wait, where? Where's my gear? Oh no 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 no! Oh! Oh, I didn't wire it up correctly. Oh, I crossed some wires. Reality. It, it time. It tore a hole in time. Fabric of time. I don't have an oxygen tank. It tore a hole in the fabric of time. And now, here I am. Obsidian? What the heck's Obsidian doing here? Oh, no, 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 no. I'm back at the beginning. No, no. Oh, oh, this is bad. How do I get back? How do I get back? The portal's not here. I did it, people. I, I, I screwed it up. Oh, no, no, no. I tore a hole in the fabric of space and time. There's not supposed to be obsidian here. This place doesn't have obsidian. Where's the cobalt? Oh, no. Okay. Things are not right. This is going to be way harder than I thought. Oh, no. I'm going to... I think, I think I screwed up the planet. F Let's make it stupid, turn the levels high. We're planet crafters. Transform this barren wasteland and reach for the sky. Dodging meteors as we take the stakes in this game of survival. Whatever we Takes. Let's make it stupid, turn the levels high We're planet crafters Transform this barren wasteland And reach for the sky